He shouldn't get any backspin today. No. Um, Andy, we were discussing in my form in this three-way venue, and I posited the theory that it might be this new mouse and mouse map because I've been playing so well for the last 12 weeks. But in the same 12 weeks on Fridays, it's been the opposite. So it's not the mouse. Well, it's, uh, it's it's a psychological problem you've got, Dave, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Andy's got the wood on you. I've definitely got the... Uh, the, the, the you're getting uh, paced in most Fridays. Well, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a slaughter, but you, I definitely feel as though uh, I, I'm... I'm in the driving seat. Yeah. Uh, and long may it continue. <laughs> I almost stole a draw on Friday, though, Dave. I, I chipped in from 50 feet away, down yeah. an outrageous slope, and it went straight in. And he had to sink a six foot in and save the game, and he did it. Oh, well, so well done, Andy. But... Yeah, but, but I, just, I mean, I thought I was coasting. I was on the green quite comfortably. Had a. Not an uh, not an unreasonable putt for a, for a birdie. <laughs> so slammed it six feet past. I thought, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly I had that little window. You had that little window, and fortunately I managed to shut it. <laughs> that was good stuff. This last week, I've come to the conclusion that if I want to see things outside, I just have to wear glasses all the time. Yeah, yeah eyesight's getting getting that bad. Yeah, and now when I take them off for a second, I go, "How was I putting up with this for so long? It's really bad now." Yeah, I'm starting to wear wear them every time I drive, and I've actually started wearing them when I'm riding my bike as well. Mm. And that's mainly because of the magpies at the moment. I'm getting swooped left, right and centre every time I go out. Yeah, they've started swooping early, they're saying, because the weather's got warmer and all that. Yeah, and then I saw on tonight that one, some guy, 78-year-old cyclist, lost an eye. Yeah, I saw that. From a magpie. And they, well, they repaired it, but wow. So, yeah, I was, I was getting bashed around the head quite badly <laughs> around the lake the other day by this magpie. It chased me for about a kilometre. Was... Oh, do you have some sort of helmet with eyes on it or something? No, no, no. I've just got your, your helmet, thank God. It, it does the trick. They don't tend to come at you from the front. They, no. like, they like to attack you from behind. But... Yeah, glasses sound like a good plan these days. Yeah, well, it also helps me see, so... Andy seems to be struggling to attach to this game. He is. Well, well, I can't even see it, actually. Uh, Can you just cl click on Dave's play and just go join game? Yeah. In fact, I'm not even seeing you. you know, only people I'm seeing uh, online, so to speak, is... There, there you go. That's better. Oh. That was weird. I couldn't see your uh, game at all there, Dave. That is a very strange occurrence. The first time we've had that happen, I think. Hmm. So I came out of the thing just just in case you hadn't set it up, and of course, as I came back in, he said, "Where are you?" So I had a look again, and still couldn't see the game that That's came up. Oh well, it looks like we're in. Should be all we are in. It doesn't look like there's many bunkers on this course. There aren't. Not that I just sort of loaded up for one or two holes. Yeah, it's a nice loosey vibe to it. Yeah, I've always liked this course. I can't remember this course playing it. Um, I'd be amazed if we hadn't had a three way game at it you know, between us. Oh, we can check later. 2,500 feet, so that's the, that's the main thing to remember about it all. Yeah, that's just about a club with the longer clubs. Anyway. Oh, we've got some feisty gustings too. I just got 19 miles an hour straight away. 19, oh. Now it's back down to nine. A 
It's not a bad start though, Dave. It's a very good start. Will he find the slope? Not quite. Oh no. Where's the 20? I think it'll be right. That's a good job, sir. Oh. That should be okay as well, actually. Yeah, but he's got the extra brute in him, Dave. He has. Always going to go that's away. annoying. I've been driving really well recently, but that's uh, it's not not what I wanted at all. Go find on Friday. Be quite good. It's good. It's not bad. Jesus Christ. Oh, look. oh, of course, 2,500 foot. Uh, someone forget. Yeah. Oh. oh, look at it go. It looks like this course is going to remind you every time you forget. Uh, Dave, you shouldn't have said anything at all. You should have waited to see what Dave was going to do with it. <laughs> I might well have done it too. <laughs> now, now I'm all over. 34 <laughs> yards. Wow. What the yeah. hell? That was quite brutal. Mildly. Right, so. Alright. I don't know what I should do. Oh, blind. That's even worse. I don't think it's going to be a fun part. What's your, what's uh, what's both of your um, science knowledge like? Reasonable, would you say? Yeah, reasonable. Right. Well, I, I've got I've got a, a term for you, which I'm I'll ask you about just after you've <laughs> given your full attention to this shot. Just about to. Okay, so the question is, what what is the scientific term for the um, the amount of reflection um, from the Earth's surface or or the surface of any body, but but um, the Earth's surface? What 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 sort of uh, what is the scientific term for the the uh, f fraction or decimal from naught to one? which is um, absorbed, stroke, reflected. What's that term called? I think it's the albedo. It is the albedo. Um, and I'm going to ask a supplementary question in just a moment. <laughs> it was good, Andy, because you took quite a while to get the question out and it gave my brain enough time to recover the information. Yeah. Okay, now then. In 1976... There was uh, an album by uh, a particular person who had the name Albedo 
um, and it was albedo 0 0.39 in the title of the album. Mm -hmm. Can you remember who that was? I've never heard that album name. Never, ever. It's, okay, it's, well, it's this, an English band, this guy, it? it was an electronic sort of synthesizer type band or uh, artist, and it was Van Gelis. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I, I sort of, this sort of came about because there was a news article on, on the thing last night. And I said to Carol, I said, oh, I'm sure they're talking about the Earth's albedo. And of course, they, they were talking about the Earth's albedo, yeah. talking about Antarctica, the, um, the, the shrinking ice uh, pack uh, means the, the Earth's albedo is going down a little bit. That's but right, it's, it's been, been going down. Me. It's been going down since um, since 1976 when it was 0.39, mm. and it's now about between 0.3 and uh, 0.30 and 0.33. It's not an easy thing to do, but to work it out. But then I started thinking, ah, oh, I'm sure there was another, and I started. Um, uh, thinking back to one or two other sort of bands out there who I listened to in the day. And I sort of went on YouTube and I started listening to some stuff by Tangerine Dream. <laughs> They're a, a very similar sort of group, electronic synthesizers. Um, it was weird and wonderful. So just one sort of article led me to a, an hour of listening to Van Gelis, listening to Tangerine Dream, all on uh, YouTube. Songs it was you fantastic. Heard. Songs you hadn't heard for 40 years, probably. Yeah. Well, the last time I heard them was um, when my, uh, I used to have uh, cassette decks, um, and I had some of these albums on cassette, and, you know, after five or ten years, the thing got shredded up. But I never replaced them. Um. <laughs> yeah, I used to have my favourite mixtapes as well. All gone now. Okay. That's yeah. enough for a par anyway, I think. Well, I've given myself extra work. I got excited. You did, and that was a very good shot by Uncle Dave, by the way, uh, oh. in between the <coughs> journey into the Earth's albedo. Has he? Oh. oh! It was curling in nicely. I thought I had it. Seems to break two ways. But... Got it. Well, oh, he's a great up and down. So it's nothing to be frightened of on this course, Dave. <laughs> apart from making sure that you remember it's 2,500 feet. I must admit, mm. I forgot it was 2,500 feet. So the only person that knew it was 2,500 when they hit their approach was the only one to get a bogey. That didn't work right. <laughs> yeah. God, this is a long par four. Oh, 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 oh. That is brutally long. And there's another set of tees further back. I hope that's packing tape or something. 
packing tape. Oh, that, no, that, that noise, it's my chair squeaking. It's like yours used to squeak years ago. Yeah. Like your three water better quality chair. Ah. Want. Oh, it's going to go sideways. It's going to be in between yours and Dave's. Correct. Not bad. Oh, it's gonna be fun for me. Yeah. <coughs> the left hand side of that sway seems like a good plan. Oh shit, even further right. Oh, Randy come. No. I'm gonna show you the line, Dave. That's so. unbelievable. I think I know the line anyway, Dave. I'm secretly hoping Andy lands 11 inches to the right of mine. <laughs> How would that be? I'm planting the seed. Ooh. No, I'm not not, uh, not having that. Yeah. Not having that at all. <laughs> what I would like is... Oh, I've put it almost in the same place. That should be okay. I think now it's gorgeous. Wow. Wow, indeed. Just stick in the booty there. Mm. <coughs> I wish my hand breaks that much to the left. Looks like it also turns to the right. Very suspicious about that cut in general. In this one here. Pretty reasonable. Give you something to think about. A bit more. Hang on. Now I'll return the favour, Dave. Well, actually, Andy's going to give us both a favour. No, it's a, no, it's a favour. Not quite in line. Look at this, and this is highly promising. Hmm. Highly promising. Well, it was, and fortunately, there was a immediate turn left. Of, yeah. 
didn't see really. The crowd were ooing. <laughs> yes. Far. It's a bit cagey. Nobody's uh, nobody's had a bird yet. Wow. Bit unlucky with where you look. You pitched it right on that downslope. Just kicked it forward horribly. So, what did you do? Oh, it's probably something involving a 134 or 120 cap. I don't have the 134. Well, if I'd have known what uh, was going to happen with my ball, I'd have actually taken the 105 club, I think. I think we all took the 120. Yeah. Okay. The card falls away from the front to the back, though. It's no wonder. In trouble. Nice. Pretty good. I saw it do was it to stop. Correct memory or incorrect memory. It's incorrect memory. I was uh, reading with, with some sort of uh, chuckling about, uh, you know, a story which you've obviously well aware of uh, in Australia about some some politician who's been just thrown out the Liberal Party or something. He's been breathing down people's necks. And, oh, yeah, that's a creepy one. <laughs> and sort of... Uh, saying things like that was a good thrusting probing question and all this type of thing. I thought, oh my God, this is this is uh, this is bizarre. This is insane. It's yeah. nice to know that the uh, British uh, parliamentarians don't have the monopoly on <laughs> on uh, inappropriate behaviour. Yeah, they all think they're above the law everywhere, Andy. I think it's Probably every country's the same. Uh, 
Well, you would have seen what Lauren Bobert got up to this week. Yeah. That was unbelievable. What, have you seen the latest videos, Dave, where she's grabbing his dick and she, he's grabbing her boobs? Yeah, I did. I yeah. saw that on Reddit yesterday. I couldn't believe it. And then she's got the cheek to turn and say, I wasn't vaping and all this sort of shit. It's just a disgrace. I know, and she's saying, oh, I can't remember actually vaping. <laughs> It's just so nonsensical. Yeah, no, they're, un they're unbelievable. Oh, well this, open up the shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a, a guy in Britain, I don't know whether you've heard of the, uh, oh God, what's his, I, I I've forgotten his name, Brand. Um, oh, Russell Brand. Russell Brand, yeah. Yeah, he's... Uh, they're all crawling out the uh, woodwork. Oh, yeah. um, he's in real big trouble because this is he's not going to go away. I mean, it's uh, it, it's it's something that's not going to go away uh, anytime soon. I knew it was going to be something bad because he came out about three days ago and he said, "Oh, you're going to hear all sorts of stuff in the newspapers." And it's all true. And it's it's all not true. Of course, if it wasn't true, he could sue them quite easily. <laughs> He's not doing that. Well, Carol and I were talking about him. He's a comedian that neither of us have had really any time for at all. Uh, he's, he's a toss bag. Yeah. yeah he, he's, you know, the one is stuck with, whoa, how did you get 50 yards further than me? Well, because I really opened my shirt. <laughs> my shirt Clearly. Is, my, my shirt is in tatters. Wow. <laughs> His skin's gone green. Yeah, yeah. If ever there was a... Mind you, it's Dave. Uh, this is the one I'm really worried about. No offence to you, Dave, but I, I'm, I'm after this. Oh, I think he, he got a took a lot of oh yes it did oh it took the life force out of that you must, did you get a 19 wind Andy? Uh, I, I, I don't know uh, um, I know it was a fairly good wind let me show this his boss it's a bit of step improvement right there Start improvement is is on the agenda today. Uh, you focus on that. <laughs> we'll focus on sneaking up from behind. Is it going to make it? Bloody fly! Yeah, this is a nasty little pin position. This one. It is now. Very nice. Unless you do something really sneaky. Or stupid, depending on how it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Re reserve judgment. Okay. Is this a shot of a genius or a madman? <laughs> right, well, I hope that gets off. Oh, it's on the green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, right. You could hear the sympathy in our voice, couldn't you? Actually? Yeah, right. <laughs> um. Okay, right. I think this is. Basically, left to right. 
Yeah, it is left or right. I'm actually going to do something I don't normally do, and that's just have a, have a look at the cameras. Right, 75, okay. It's not enough. This is one course where he could have done with a little bit of uh, wind noise. Yeah. Sort of swirling around. Borrowed the wind from around me. Oh, don't do that. Oh, no. <sighs> Tea texture. Really? Apparently, I looked away in disgust. So. Nothing. Well, what should have been a fairly straightforward, you know, birdie chance is uh, not going to be anything but. Yeah. I'm very happy about this one. My full attention. Okay, I'm just aiming it just inside your marker, wherever that is. Should have been halfway inside. There's a little bit of movement in this. Ah, oh, shit. Wow. There was almost no movement in that. Yeah, that was a slack four putt, was that? Yeah. Mm. Four putts I was on the bloody green in two. Oh well. Ah. Well, if someone had said to me we'll play this hole in one over, I just wouldn't have believed it. Played out, didn't get a tailwind, and it was a short hole. Yeah. Oh, well, we played it even. Gently. 
Let's get yeah. feedback on. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> Wow. I'm not sure whether I've got the, anything which will get me there. Not with that bloody shot, it won't. Bit of a lunge. Oh, never know. Getting better. Well, that was uh, <coughs> a mini disgrace, that, I've got to <laughs> say. Yeah, you've got to be happy with it. All right. This is this pin. That's a really nasty pin. It's on a little, just sitting up there on a little picnic blanket of mound. Oh. Oh, what a shot. Very nice. Very so. nice indeed. Shot of a quality player. Someone who knows exactly uh, where the what the ball is going to do. He's got it on a piece of elastic. That's right. 34, 16, oh God almighty. Well, at least it's not this is not seemingly falling away rapidly when I get up there, if I get up there. Right. It's a little bit better than... I'm, I'm, it's amazing. If I, if I was playing... With BLI, I'd probably under borrow. Playing without BLI, I'm generally now starting to over borrow. Throw a blanket over us now, again. Um, slowly gravitating backwards. So we've all had a drop stroke and nobody's had a birdie. That's, that's it. about that's about the uh, state of affairs. That's pretty rare enough, five holes. Right. Yeah, there's no water co to contend with. Oh, here's another. B 
big driving hole. Don't mind that at all. Oh, I missed the bloody fairway. Ah. It's two out of the six. Ah. Good shot. Crawled on. Not a bad shot, but it's, it's no gimme. I think, to be honest, anything within 20 feet is going to be a good, sh good shot. Yeah. And any Approach. two is going to be a good score. Mm. Coming in for a free read, are we? I am. I like that one. Very nice shot. Yeah. Very nice shot indeed. Well, I've been caught out by some of these. There we'll go. No, not that hard. Stop. Oh, God. Stop. Nice putt. Oh, what a good putt. Ooh. Fantastic. That was a great uh, putt. Broke two ways.
Oh, well, red as well. Those are the first birdies of the night. Yeah. <coughs> I might be the only ones. 332, this is an interesting little, little hole. Tailwind, you'd think you might get there. It's a good line. Not sure I want to get there. Fuck it, I didn't. Not a bad shot, though. This has been a fun putt. First thing to the green. Distance, Let's see where that this one goes. This might have a bit of action. Oh, yeah. God, caught the rough. Yeah, that's awkward, isn't it? Well, that was going to be. Uh, Way better than it was. Yeah, the 20 mile an hour popped up in mid air, Andy. That's what got you. And back. I'll do. Driving's not been good. Gorgeous. Lovely. Oh. Good shot. Yeah, so I've been practicing the pitch shot from 48. Two very nice shots. Very nice indeed, Dave. I can see what's going on. You're trying to uh, open up a little bit of distance, a bit of a gap. That was a very, uh, very uh, nice pin, that. Smack in the middle, middle of the green. It's very friendly. <coughs> All right. Another par five with a slight... Turn. Another par five, which has got eagle written all over it. Even though we said that on the last one, this time we mean it. Right. Uh -oh. 
Give me some 20. Give me some 20 action. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I wasn't driving like this yesterday. But yesterday was another day. So good connect. That's going to work out great. It is. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> it's more than okay, Dave. Wow. Very nice. <coughs> and I'm going to give you a nice little read here. Appreciate the assistance. Okay, well, I've got to. That was a good job I did that. I just got, got it totally, I nearly got it totally wrong then. Really? No, not that. Forty-three. I'm 
still a little bit uh, skittish about this putt. It's going to have some pace on it. Oh, get within four feet. Four feet. Within. <laughs> yeah. I think every single putt I've had has been four to six feet. Not had a tap in yet. Looks good. Oh, beautiful. Looks really good. Well, as Dr. Frankenstein would have said, he's alive! <laughs> uh, completely flat. Oh, no, it's not. <sighs> I think I spent half a Friday saying to Andy, I can't read these greens. Tonight I'm thinking about on the backside. Mad skills, Dave. Clearly mad skills. Well, swings and roundabouts. It's bloody. a lot of stock in it. So I'll take some more of course once it's all up. Well we've gone from not being able to get any birdies and you just got an eagle. Well you've had uh, two birdies and an eagle. You've had three, three birdies, birdies yeah. and I've had two. And I've gone backwards. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd said to yourself three holes ago, I'll get two birdies in the next three holes, I'll be happy. <laughs> Look what's happened. Outrageous. And they all started after someone made the comment there's been no birdies, of course. Yeah, I think it might have been me that uh, said that. Yeah, look at it. It's just a sea of blue now. Wow. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, it's still not right. I don't know why. Oh, it's a disgrace. That is a disgrace. Are you going to take that? I think you should, no, I think you should choose re-hit. <laughs> this means you've got license to say disgrace even more bitterly next time, Dave. Mm. <laughs> it's a preemptive uh, disgrace. Nice shot. Bit worried about this one. It's not an easy pin. I think I'll get a hit full. an 
baby for a second. Just far enough that I'm going to give you a slight lead. Yeah. I think Dave's got the best uh, putt. Yes, for sure. I've got another one that would have been ridiculous. Yeah, that would have been. It would, been might, they would have been disgrace calls. But you certainly uh, read it almost to perfection. And I'm getting the pace right now as well. So well, I haven't got the pace right at all today, so. Or the line. Look at that. Another four feet. Four feet again. Every oh. single one. Sure. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a shocking pat. It was a shocker. It was terrible. Well, you've got got some daylight between you, Dave. Ooh. It's a very comfortable feeling. That uh, that eagle putt uh, has just uh, given you a bit of momentum. It has, and um, I'm sure feeling a lot better than I was after the first hole. Oh, that was a good smack. Yeah, it went where I aimed. As was that, Andy. You finally got rid of your um, push to the right. Yeah. Do you know what causes that when it sneaks in? Uh. 
I, I think so, yeah. Um, but it's it's almost the exact opposite of what I what I think I should be doing. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if I'm able to to go uh, push free for the rest of the round. Let's see a few in a row. Right on it. Oh. Can't afford, afford to say good shot too early in this. Game. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Dave, that really. Took a leap. Not that one. Um. Work out nicely. Yep. It's a bit unlucky, but it's okay. Green again. Oh, really? That's a bit of a, that's a disgrace. It's given me the chipper, so I'm not on the green. Nice putt. Is it? Is it? Nice shot. So, Yay, I've got it within four <laughs> feet. Uh, the luxury of it all, Andy. Yeah. Remember that. 
Oh, that's <laughs> oh, just, gutsy. Just pissed it away. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're back to uh, an even field again. Mm. Okay, right. Bloody dopey sod. If it had switched to 20 miles an hour for half track shot, it would have been perfect. It's just so much luck. All right. I've got to get back on the horse with green. This is definitely not enough. This could be an interesting part. It's going to be a part. <laughs> no, I don't think it's a part. Nice. Yeah, good. I'm getting close to the hole, Dave. The last one was 29 inches, this was 15. <laughs> Had enough of four footers. <laughs> I never want to see another four footer on this course.
Good thought. Thank you. Oh, straight as an arrow, that. Just the wind just took it very ever so slightly. I'm going to try the other side of the fairway. Hmm. Side was better. Yeah, I think that's. Well, it's more like the middle of the fairway, yeah. I would say. I'm happier there. Oh, yes, yeah. you're right on top of the white dot. <coughs> the better way. Dave looks as though he's coming towards me. Get down on that right edge of the fairway where I want it to be. I'll get a sort of corner. Do you fancy this shot? I hesitate to say yes, but I, I do. Oh, did not like that check. <laughs> well, that was uh, bizarre, wasn't it? It was. I don't think I've ever seen a check like that. Looking good. Oh, don't stay up there. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's the green. Oh. Just downhill. It's tricky. It looked like it was going to roll down towards the pin and then it just turned right. Mm. Impossible! <laughs> oh. oh dear. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, Good 
I really didn't see. There's been things. But just a little bit more to the left of Jimmy's unconscious. Oh, it was even less. Thank you, Dave. Thank no you. worries. I wouldn't cut off the green for you, Dave. <laughs> well, not deliberately, anyway. Well, this is going to go both ways. Maybe not. Thirteen inches. Perfect line. Yep. Just going to get up. As long as it pulls up, which it will. Three, three, three. Well, I never. You little devil, you. Hmm. <laughs> well, that should be good, too. Go oh. away, get. You're trying hard, but. <laughs> I did. Well, I've got a feeling I'm, I'm, I might be a little bit ahead of you on today's stats. Yeah. Might be good news for me. I think the only one I'll be winning is the putting, because I've sunk a few and you've missed a few. Uh, but I think the rest, as you say, could be a, almost a clean sweep. We'll see. That is a brutal pin to get close to. Wow. Damn, good shot. Mm -hmm. Pretty oh, good. That's working out really nicely. Yeah. Yes. Yo. I would almost say, oh, baby. Mm. Yeah, what did you do, Dave? Well, it's looking at because we're a completely different distance.
That's when I started in nickel. Better result? No. 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 Worse, don't you? You're closer. Yeah, I was lucky. I ran along that ridge. That's a technically difficult shot, what you did. Certainly not by design. Oh, Andy's going to try and emulate it. It's going to reach as well. Look at these three little bears lined up in a row. Yes. That's us. Read it perfectly. Very nice. This is not a birdie hole, but two out of two, no pressure, eh? Why can't I help but feel I'm going to drop a straight here? <laughs> After doing the best shot? No. Feels like it breaks right to left. Oh, God. You were right. Oh, Dave, that is cruel. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Is that? Is that you sneezing, Dave? No, that's my chair. Uh -huh. Oh, now I've got a headwind. Come on. Yeah, he's complaining about headwinds. I've got to complain about something every hole. Complain about getting ripped off on the last hole, where you get the best shot and drop the stroke. It does look rough. Oh. Stop, stop. 
Aggressive, wasn't it? Oh, that was a uh, little bit of a uh, subtle backspin. Heard of where you guys are. Very delicate distance control. It's straightened. You <laughs> saw him coming in straight. Oh, same thing happened with me. All the break happened after the hole. Oh, God. <laughs> this hole. <coughs> well, you guys didn't have to miss to make me feel better, but I appreciate it. I'm glad you appreciate it. Well, we could have all walked off with birdies on that hole. Oh, oh. Supernatural skills to judge the swing perfectly. Well, that isn't. Oh, I don't know. Not too bad. Here we go. Did we all take the three wood? Yes, sir. Yep. It felt like you had to.
Oh, by the way, I uh, I want to congratulate your rugby union boys for losing to Fiji uh, yesterday. <laughs> Very impressive. But you're you're in good company because England lost to Fiji a couple of weeks ago. And this is where you need missing missing Phil, who would have had something intelligent to say about it. Yeah. Nice shot. Tell you what, the uh, this this would uh, make quite a a good venue for you know the Irish Open. This uh, this course is it a real course? Not sure. Not sure. It would. You can just imagine howling winds, lots of beanies, filthy weather, rain, sleet. Yeah. bunch of Irishmen still drinking beer and cheering. They would Okay, well, we're two one five out. Very doable. corner a bit better than I did. Uh, very the tiger line. Under ninety four. Shot as well. Oh, yes. Pretty nice.
Oh, it's got a nice... Oh, pity. That's all right. It's one of the hole. Yeah, there's an outside chance of a spectacular disgrace there if it bounced over the bunker and just hit the bit of Yeah, it's never going to do that with the shot that I played. Yeah. Possibly with a, with a punch or something, I might have had the forward momentum. Look at this. It's pretty special, but we'll hang up there. Okay, right. Stop there. So you go number two? No. Occasions again, Dave. Oh. oh, I'm out of the game. And once you finish 30 30, then you might get a draw. This is a brutal hole, this. Oh, yeah, with this headwind. <sighs> Don't want to miss this fairway. Oh, my word. This could be the defining hole today. Mm. Don't like this at all. Good now. Perfect angle. You and try not to 
push it. So it begins. You know, when I pulled the, the club back, it said 20. Then when I looked up midway through ball flight, it was nine. Wow. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, Christ. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beast of a putt. <coughs> oh, gone on a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh God, I need some uh, German milk, some beer, or something. <laughs> Bad putt. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Yes, and his favorite distance. Wow. 
first bit is good. Second bit is good. <clears throat> and the third bit was good. Well done. Just see where that. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to go there. <coughs> Those first cut. I don't think you missed many fairways tonight, have you, Dave? Uh, a couple. But only a couple, but I've always been consistently shorter than you guys. Well, you want to have a look on uh, Australia's eBay and see if you can pick yourself up a bull worker. <laughs> Uh, I was planning on spending time down the beach this year, so I'm going to have to do something. You, you're going to be become a, a David Hasselhoff or something. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to take after our ex-Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. We're budgie smugglers. Oh, budgie smugglers, yes. You could be the Warwick Capper of Ballarat, though. Indeed. That's you in the bunker, Dave. It is. Um, my, my planning and my execution were both incorrect. Mm. One forty. No, I can't hit the one forty six. Well, this could be a, a nightmare putt. Oh no, it's dropped to 10. Oh, they no, it did. <laughs> so your best shot of the night is the one you said oh no to. Yep. It's always fun. Well, this is an interesting scenario now, Dave. Well, it is. Um, and I'm not really laughing. I'm 
just trying to work out how to do it. I do have a plan. Is that coming? But we'll see what happens. Shift that is a little fuzzy. Oh, I'm gonna get a read. Yeah. I needed that read probably. Well, I've got nothing to lose, so I'm actually gonna cut off the green. <laughs> what? Is <laughs> Right. Team just got thrown out of the finals. Oh, I can't be seen to be favouring either of you, so. Thirty-three ten. Or we'll get close to the hole. The four foot? 27 <laughs> inches. I tell you what, it, it looks as though it's going to run out of steam before that. Fucking time one dropped. <laughs> yeah, that's to get you back. Sure, it's going to work. Wow, there's a lot of pressure on this putt. Well, I just need you to take two putt from there. And... Well done. Certainly he was. Yep, well done, you two. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret that double bogey on the tenth for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. We all broke 71, or 70 rather, to uh, all get three greens. Well, okay, I did get 100% fairways. <laughs> I thought I'd missed some. Oh. Well, it is an impressive stat, though. 